you're watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today I'm going to be introducing a new open tag called Super Sack Saturday. So the idea of this is to review a Swiss Army knife on Saturday. And I've got a backlog of Swiss Army knives that I'd like to review so I figured this was a good way to put one out a week and kind of catch up on those. But please join in if you're interested and the rules again are simple. Swiss Army knife on Saturday. All right, so the first one we're going to be looking at today is the Blade Bridge Customs Tinker that Daniel Bridge has created for me. And if you're not familiar with him, I'll provide a link in the description below that you can go and check out his website, possibly order some custom Swiss Army knives from Daniel. He's a fantastic guy. He's had He's been on our channel before. We had him on the Slippery and Thrifty show a while back. Just a super cool dude and very, very talented. So let's take a look at this tinker that he's created for me. It's got the red Kiranite scales and the red Swiss cross and these awesome pinned on scales. So normally, if you're not familiar, you know a Swiss Army Nice has sort of like snap-on type scales, but he's actually pinned this like a more traditional pattern. And that is awesome. Use brass pins and everything is super smooth. You never know that that was not the way that uh, it came out of Switzerland. It's just fantastically done. And then on this side, he's got his custom logo, which, you know, is essentially the same thing as the little wooden token there. But just absolutely beautiful work that he's done. And then he's added these red G10 scales to it. So just the color coordination is really awesome. You know, does a good job of matching up to the channel colors, which I really appreciate. So let's take a look at the Tinker. You've got a main blade here, main spear point blade, and this particular one has the most modern of tank stamps on it, the Victorinox stainless, or Victorinox Switzerland stainless on there. Then on the opposite, we've got Officer Swiss and blade uh, bridge customs etching on the blade. So yeah, the main spear point blade just Pretty common styling here. You got two and three quarter inch length and then about two and three eighths cutting edge. Wonderful like six pull on it. Locks up nicely. Very good lock up on it. Which is always something that Victorinox does well. They always just seem to lock in place so much better than some knives. And uh, the you know, the authority with which they lock up is just so much better than than many, many other traditional knife makers. And they could probably learn a thing or two from how they do that. Then on the other side, we've got our little smaller spear point blade. And it's just over an inch and a half. Call that an inch and five eighths. you got a cutting edge right at about an inch and a half. Of course, they use the 1.4116 blade steel on these knives. Something they've been doing for a long time. And, you know, it's not going to hold an edge forever, but it does a very good job for light tasks. And on this side, on this end of the knife, you've got the opening layer, as I like to call it. And you've got the three tool design on the left side here. You've got the large, you know, flat-headed screwdriver the cap lifter and then the wire trimmer, wire uh, stripper. And this has like a half stop on this side and it locks up like you would not believe. It is pretty damn amazing how much that locks up. Very, very firm to get back to the closed position. And then on this side, you've got a smaller tip for the screwdriver blade and then you can use this as a can opener. So multi-function blade there. And that's pretty typical of a normal tinker there. Then on the back, you've got the awl blade. Of course with the eyelet. So if you wanted to thread something, you could do that. And that's a, a really useful tool for you know opening up holes in your belt or whatever you would need for any kind of leather work works well as a leather punch so yeah all blade on there and then our final tool is the Phillips which you can just use in this fashion 
and also be used as a as a uh, you know defensive weapon if you really needed to. Hopefully that would never come to fruition, but uh, that is something you could do. Now on a normal tinker, you have also scale tools, which you're not going to have on these custom scales. So you're missing the the toothpick and the tweezers, but you have your key ring there that you could add a little ring to, which I've got a couple I could throw on there, no problem. But Daniel just does fantastic work over there. I've been super happy with the two customs that I've received from him, and this one's just a, a knockout with those scales on there. I really, really enjoy the, the color of those, the color coordinating of the, of the liners, too. So fantastic, beautiful tinker from Daniel Bridge. Thank you so much, Daniel, for contributing to the Kent channel and also want to give a shout out to Slippy because he was the one who actually sent this along to me once Daniel sent it to him. So thank you Slippy for mailing that across the good old drink and I uh, just want to say thank you again to both of these fellas and what a fantastic Swiss Army knife and a great way to kick off this open tag. But that's going to do it for my review guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll join in on the Super Sack Saturday. Please, if you like this video, thumbs up and hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. We'll see you next time. Take care.